This is a main shaft for a Dodge NV4500 transmission. It's a five speed that was behind a Cummins engine. And this shaft actually has a design flaw and there's an aftermarket updated shaft which addresses this. It seems the biggest problem with this transmission is fifth gear can come loose. And there's a lock nut that goes on the threads here which retains fifth gear. But what can happen is the uh, lock nut can come loose and uh, followed by the gear itself and it can get to the point where fifth gear no longer meshes and uh, fifth gear uh, is no longer functional. So that's approximately where fifth gear would sit on the shaft in this area and the shaft has splines here but there's a lot of area here where it could have had splines and it doesn't. This is some video showing the inside of fifth gear and on the right side of the screen I can see little marks on the splines and that's where load is being transferred so because that shaft is not fully splined there's load being transferred on the inside of the gear in this area and there's load being transferred on the outside of the gear in this area so the gear has actually worn flat spots onto the shaft the splines of the gear have been wearing here and even on the inside of the fifth gear the unloaded part of the gear it seems as though those splines have wear and I believe that's from contacting here so because of the way power is applied and taken off of the gear it's actually as though it has a side load on it when it's under load and because the gear is turning when it's under load in a sense the wear pattern that it develops it's as, it's as if it has a wobble when it's under power. It's not actually wobbling but it's just the constant side load and the turning all that combined is possibly one of the reasons why the lock nut can come loose sometimes. So that's fifth gear, thrust washer, and then a lock nut. Over the years a few different versions of this lock nut have been produced to try and address this problem. This one has two set screws. Here's another version. This one is split and it uses a pinch bolt to lock it in place. I suspect that probably the most effective idea so far is probably this one to retain fifth gear. So on the back side you can see it's got some splines. And on the output shaft you can see that there is some splines left over that aren't being used. So the way this works is it goes in behind the lock nut. And slides onto the lock nut itself. So one thing I don't like about it is it kind of rattles around on there. It's a little bit loose. So I, th I think it can still be done effectively if the uh, lock nut is torqued in just the right way that uh, this has some torsional load on it as it's being kind of forced into place so that when it's in there it's it's tight because of the the torsional load from the lock nut and then they kind of work together as a pair. So I didn't buy this and the uh, lock nut as a set. Maybe there is a, a lock nut that fits better here but regardless it still seems to fit kind of loose on the splines. So that kind of thing it can create wear like just rattling around like that and and those you know that little bit of wear that ends up in the oil and that can go and affect other components as well. So here you can see the difference between the uh, original shaft and an aftermarket updated shaft with the fully splined fifth gear.